Uncle Robert. Dad, nobody does. Congratulations, Bill. Says Dale has completed the exceptional service and has attained special recognition for years of dedicated service on this day, September day, January 2017, in 15 years. Thank you, sir. Thank you, guys. Oh my goodness! Assassination. Dale's been with the county for 15 years. He's been with my department for four or five now. I think he's got more bosses out there than any of us. Um, <laughs> I keep hearing he's going to stay another 20 or 30. Maybe uh, maybe he'll figure out the job by then. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but he, he's been a, a very good help for me. Uh, I just recently came back from vacation and had very little on my desk. He's taken care of everything the whole week I was gone. And I, I really do appreciate the job he's been doing. Um, if you don't like your phones, it's his fault. Miss Vicky. Vicky. I think some of my staff may be upstairs. I know Jill left the agency to come about six. Okay, guess who's up there? <laughs> <laughs> the uh, state health department. Okay. David, Andrew. Um, ten years of service. Thank you. This has given exceptional service and obtained special recognition for years of dedicated service on this 17th day of January 2017. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Andrea joined us 10 years ago um, as a nurse in home health, and about two years ago she switched over and now she does uh, targeted um, case management for children zero to their fifth birthday. And what's important about what she does now is she helps uh, children on Medicaid, um, especially with children with um, particular health issues, asthma, chronic disease issues, which in the end helps them, helps their family. She does a lot of coaching with the family and case management, and uh, in the long run, it helps everybody. It helps the community help when we help children like that. So thank you, Andrea. Okay. Ms. Wendy Martin, Ms. Parks. Congratulations on five years. This has given exceptional service and has obtained special recognition for years of dedicated services. 17 days of January 2017. Thank you, ma'am. Wendy came to the Registered Deeds, of course, five years ago. I hired her, my first hire, as the Registered Deeds. Um, she's been a great asset to the Registered Deeds office, always eager and ready to learn and has done an exceptional job, and we're just lucky to have her. Um, uh, communication, Melanie Duncan. And this Melanie has five years of service. And thank you for those five years. And has given exceptional service and obtained special recognition for years for dedicated service, 17th day of January 2017. Thank you, ma'am. Miss Melanie came to us from Gaston County when she was a, she was a telecommunicator for 10 years. Yes. She's been with us for five years. And she heads up our communication center. She's our supervisor and does a wonderful job for us. The football team. Miss Penny has uh, 15 years of service, and thank you for the 15 years of service, and has given exceptional service and has obtained special recognition for years of dedicated service, 17th day of January. Thank you, thank you Miss Penny. <laughs> Miss, 
Miss Penny's been with us for five years, as Mr. Charles said. She does a good job. Fifteen years. And she's got a real loud voice. You can hear her. You don't have any problem at all hearing her voice. And we appreciate that. <laughs> Diana Hatcher. Miss Diana has 15 years of service. And thank you for those 15 years, Diana. And has given exceptional service and has obtained special recognition for years of dedicated service to the 17th day of January. Thank you, Diana. Miss Hatcher's been with 15 years. She's a nighttime supervisor and has been since 2006, I believe, 2005, at, at her request. She likes working night shift. And she is large and in charge. She's the boss of the night shift. Miss James Monroe? I don't think he's here. James has five years with the Sheriff's Department. Mr. Jeff Richards. And Mr. Jeff has 20 years with the Sheriff's Department. Has given exceptional service and obtained special recognition for years of dedicated service on the 17th day of January 2017. Thank you. Captain Bridges really has a right, he has 30 years, but he likes about 18 months, I think. And he will be leaving us, he's only made that very well known. <laughs> but he's in charge of every deck you see in uniform, he is their captain. And he has a lot of responsibility, he does a very good job, very loyal to me in this office, and um, I, I am very appreciative of that. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> Jeff has 25 years in the church box, thank you, Jeff. Has given exceptional service and has obtained special recognition for years of dedicated service, 17th day of January 2017. Now, let's see, I don't know what to say about this fellow. <laughs> He's been with us for 25 years. He, he is my administrative captain. And uh, he's in charge of the budget and does a very good job. I only know one other person that looks after me more than him, and I won't call his name, but uh, <laughs> he, he's very good with our budget. He looks after our business, and uh, he does a successful job. He's very, very well, and I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Phil has 25 years of church department. Thank you for those 25 years. Has given exceptional service and obtained special recognition for years of dedicated service to January 2017. Thank you. Mr. Phil has 25 years of church department. Mr. Corbett is our sergeant over at the detention center. And between him and Lieutenant David Shaw, Captain David Shaw, they have a lot of administrative duties to do. He, he takes care of every day, day-to-day -day operation, and does a wonderful job for us. And I appreciate you. Yes, sir. <laughs> and Miss Jewel Smith has 30 years in the Sheriff's Department, and she's not here tonight. Thank you. Uh, Randy Garner. Yep. And Randy has 25 years with the county, and thank you for those 25 years, Randy. Has given exceptional service and has obtained special recognition for the year of dedicated services on the 17th day of January 2017. Randy started with the county back in 91, long before I ever thought about coming here. <laughs> I've been here since July, by the way. 
that he had, he was promoted to the position of water operations superintendent, um, operations director in 1995. He's done an excellent job. His easygoing demeanor and strong sense of ethics have helped move that department forward. We now serve 6,300 customers countywide. He's seen that department grow. And he's talking about getting close to retirement, but I hope he doesn't do so for a while. <laughs> he's been my right hand in water operations and making sure things go well for the county. Thank you, Randy, for you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Vicky. Uh, DSS. <laughs> I hope I say this right. Christina Pagos. Mm -hmm. Pagis. Christina Pagis. Christina Pagis. <laughs> I'm sorry. No problem. Five years of service. Thank you. Yes, sir. And has given exceptional service and has obtained special recognition for years of dedicated service on the 17th day of January 2017. And thank you, ma'am. to the agency into the um, work first um, area um, five years ago where she displayed exceptional customer service to her clients that she served. She always had a good listening ear for those clients. She recent or last year um, advanced over to the child support area and um, where she is the processing assistant mm -hmm. and she is learning that system and hopefully will soon advance into other areas and branches in that arena. We appreciate all you did for us. Denisha Johnson. Denisha has 10 years of service and thank you for those 10 years. Has given exceptional service and obtained special recognition for years of dedicated service on this 17th day of January 2017. to the agency as an intern um, in the child protect no in adult services and um, shortly after her internship she decided that she wanted to make Lagan County DSS her home and um, she came to work with child protective services and currently she is working at the Bladen crisis assistance um, she is the social worker too over there and I will say to be a social worker over there um, she is a very independent worker um, She's the only one over there, basically, in that area. Um, she also has a listening ear. Um, she knows where all the resources are in Bladen County to assist those clients. If, um, what she can offer to them, if that's not enough assistance, she has other resources. We appreciate everything you do for Bladen County. Thank you. Jill has 10 years of the service in the county, and thank you for those 10 years. Has given exceptional service and attained special recognition for years of dedicated service, 17 day of January 2017. Like Jill Hayes. Jill Hayes. Jill Jill came to the agency from the school system. And she entered into the agency as a clerical worker. She had a degree, and um, she told me that she came hoping that she, that was getting her foot into the door where she could advance within the agency. She um, advanced into the Child Protective Services area as an assessment treatment worker, and currently she is the supervisor of Child Protective Services. So she is um, one of the protectors of the most vulnerable in our county, the children of Bladen County, protecting them. And we appreciate everything you do. Thank you. Ms. Janet Miller. Janet's got 15 years of county and thank you for those 15 years. Has given exceptional service and obtained special recognition for years of dedicated service on the 17th day of January 2017. 
She came to work with us um, in the adult protective services area. She advanced from a um, social worker two to a three and then to supervisor of that area. And then um, she has become our social work program manager. And in that um, position, she's protecting, like I said, with Jill, the most value, um, vulnerable in our community, the children and the adults that cannot defend themselves, others taking advantage of them. Janet, um, as you can see, she, she's had some, um, um, <laughs> I've been fighting. <laughs> she has been out for a few weeks, and we have really missed Janet. Yeah, you know, when, when somebody's out, that's when you realize how much you do depend on them. But we do appreciate everything that you do for us, Janet. Janet is one of those that has one of those compassionate listening ears. We couldn't be more blessed to have her in our agency. It's good to see my peeps tonight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, we got a reception, but we're going to recognize the East Plain football team, and then we're going to have the reception. But, uh, and I'm glad I'm one of nine of Greg's, Greg's bosses, because he never likes to be recognized, but you know, he's a county employee, and he's got 20 years with the county, so Greg, if you come forward, please. <laughs> But, um, what a man, I mean, to put up with, with nine of us, and it's just changed, so it's, it's a tough job, it's a, a tough job to manage, but Greg always sees the best in everything. I told Greg sometimes I wished he had some of me in him, and I had a lot of him in me. <laughs> but Greg, certainly appreciate your 20 years thank of you, County. Thank, thank you very much. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm glad I wanted to get bosses right by probably got to get reprimanded tomorrow for that. Come on, Rob, Rob, just fill in up here, please. Or you stand here with me. We're going to put that in. Rob, we'll put some on the ground behind. You come here, Rob. Let them just give them the edge. We'll, we'll, we'll back up as much as we need to. Okay, East Bladen finished the season with nine wins and four losses. They finished third in the conference behind Clinton and won double A state champion Wallace Rose Hill. After the regular season, East Bladen entered the state playoff as a number six seed. They hosted and defeated Farmville Central High School in the first round by a score of 62 to 42 to advance to the second round. On the road to play, Aiden Griffin became their, they were the highest seed, so they had to travel to Aiden Griffin. East Bladen uh, blocked the potential game-winning field goal at the end of the regulation to send the game in overtime, and East Bladen scored on a fourth down touchdown pass and then stopped Aiden Griffin from scoring to win the ball game by a score of 28-21. That vaulted East Bladen into the third round against South Columbus down in Taylor City. 
The winner of this game would play for the Eastern Championship. A back and forth contest ends with South Columbus went ahead 42 to 41 with 57 seconds left. The Eagles mounted a drive but came up short, but they left it all on the field that night. The Eagles finished the season ranked in the top 10 of the state 2A football. After the season was complete, there was a few individuals who earned postseason awards. Ethan Hines, where's Ethan? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Name for the Wilmington um, Star News All Area Football First Team, offensive end, and to the Fable Observe of Cape Fear Region Second Team All. Congratulations, Ethan. <laughs> Hines rushed for 1,913 yards and 24 touchdowns and finished with 2,521 all-purpose yards and 34 total touchdowns. Great job. Okay, Caleb Strait. Okay, he's played defensive lineman Caleb Strait and defensive back Kyle Tatum. Kyle? Um, were named to the all-area second-team defense. Straight blocked a key field goal and recorded 79 tackles this season, 31 this season, 31 solos. And Tatum racked up 67 total tackles, 29 so, solos, and also recovered three fumbles and interceptions too fast. Good job. <laughs> and you, you know the, the hard work and the sweat and stuff, uh, people people recognize that and they appreciate it. I mean you're a you're a Blaine County team and and, and we certainly appreciate all the effort y'all put forth. And congratulations on another great season. It just seems like you just keep reloading every year. And, and that makes Blaine County look good. good. So thank you. Absolutely. The Blaine County Board of Commissioners recognized East Blaine High School football team for a successful 2016 season, four county conference record five and two, and overall record of 95, competing to the third round of the 2A state playoff presented this season. Day of January 2017. And Robbie, the coaches, thank you, sir. That's right. Thank you. Anybody want to say anything? I'd like to say something. Um, I've watched this team and Dick and Robbie's teams for years and years. It's sort of like a TV program, Friday Night Lights. For those that don't have something to do or maybe need to change what you do do on Friday night, Friday night football in Bladen County is a good night for the kids. There's an old comedian and actor by the name of Roger Dangerfield, if you remember, and he says, you never get no respect, but never, hardly ever, are we preseason ranked in the top ten. But at the end of the season, they find out where the ranking should be because we're always in the top ten. Amen. So we thank you so much for what you do. And at this time, we've got a reception right down, two doors down to the right, so please go back and get some refreshments, and, and thank you to the county employees, and, and thank you to the young men and, and the coaches from East Blade High School football team. Thank you.